Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have one of our favorite monthly lifestyle boxes. It's been sent to me for review. I've probably been reviewing this for almost as long as I've had a channel both as a subscriber and as a reviewer and I'm so thankful to still be receiving fruit for thought. It's a fun delightful lifestyle box that's got a variety of items from bath and body to home decor to accessories to delicious snacks and every month is themed on a different fruit or food or kind of food and so all of the items inside are going to go with that flavor scent or color palette but you'll see what I mean so this month I've been really looking forward to it because it's a little bit different it's not necessarily a fruit but it is something that is flavorful and uh, let's go ahead and see what it is so and then she'll always give us the little um, hint about what next month's box will be so this box is $44.99 per month uh, plus $7.99 in shipping I do have a code for you it is Noel 10 that'll save you 10% on your first box and at the moment they're just doing month-to-month -month subscriptions so that's always nice because then you can decide for how long you want to get that subscription right all right so inside we have their branded tissue paper which is super cute and we'll go ahead and open it up Ooh, always tear that tissue paper I don't know I don't know why you would think after years of doing this I would like almost be used to ruining the packaging but I always like to keep it so pristine I think on September 10th of this year it will be five years since I started this channel now I didn't always post every day but it is kind of crazy to me to think back and be like wow I've been doing this for five years and now it's just kind of part of my routine it's one of my handful of jobs that I have but it is one of the ones that I enjoy the most just because of our community here so thank you for being here and if you are a long time no bot which is what we call a viewer of this channel thanks again for continuing to support my channel and if you're kind of newer there's a lot of old videos for you to check out and reminisce about uh, but there's also lots of opportunities for you to get involved in this community even if I don't always post every single day I do hope to keep this channel going all right, so right on top we have our product card. Yes, so the theme for next month, which I think you can still subscribe and get, is peachy plum. Those are two fruits that I absolutely love. Now I will say growing up in Hawaii, the stone fruit was not always that great because it was always shipped to us. So um, even though I love the flavor and scent of peach, like actually getting good peaches and like nectarines was a little bit harder. Now that I live in California, um, yeah, it's, I have a little bit more of that, but. Uh, I love peach anything. It is so, so good. So I'm very much looking forward to that box. But this one for June is horchata, which is an amazing cinnamon like rice milk drink. It's just so good. I kind of think of it sometimes as tasting a little bit like the milk after you've had kind of a sugary cereal, like cinnamon toast crunch, and then you have the like milk that's left in the bowl. It's like that, but a little bit lighter because it's rice milk usually. So on the back it does say oh it does give you a little notice of that there's some updates coming to the subscription so just make sure that you if you're already a subscriber you uh paid attention i think i got that email update as well but she'll probably send it a couple of times uh that's just because like i said they are moving to that month to month subscription so if you are like on a package your uh, membership will be changing slightly just to month to month instead right not a big not a big difference all right so one two three four five five items in here and she does give us the little uh instagram handles so when i post photos over on my instagram account for product photography which is at maui underscore noel i try to tag these businesses i know pam tries to tag those businesses as well but if you see stuff and um you're unable to get your hands on this amazing box because it's sold out i think this one is sold out if it's not it'll be on the shop online but um, she does sell out very often, <laughs> but you can always go ahead and look at those uh, products from those websites. All right, let me put this up here. Ooh, this looks cute. Uh, so I live very close to the border of Mexico, so there is a lot of Mexican food and lots of like sort of Mexican decor, and I love it. I love like all the Talavera and like all of the flavors, and it's it's really a wonderful. Um, it's really a wonder wonderful culture to live in such close proximity to and amongst. Look at these super cute table mats, like place mats. 
these like serape ones i love them really pretty like sunset colors so i think this is a like a little um placemat oh i showed you the tag side <laughs> So let's see, who's this by? I don't see, think it says who it's by, but they've got the little tassels. You could use this for all kinds of things, like a little like display on your nightstand if you wanted to. But I love it as a fun little, you know, if you're doing just fancy like chips and dip, uh, you could do this. So we got two of these, that's super cute. Two Mexican serape table mats or place mats and lanyards, what? Oh, cute! And lanyards equipped with a bottle opener key ring in a variety of Southwest inspired patterns. It'll be the perfect scene for a Mexican fiesta, including delicious horchata. So it says, uh, Seraparito? Seraparito Supply Company. So look at this lanyard! How fun! With a bottle opener. So. <laughs> That is for the beer drinkers, but this is a great thing to have in your car. This is really nice because look, you can detach it and you can hand the bottle opener over to somebody else, but then it's not going to get misplaced because as soon as somebody opens up their beer, their Corona, uh, you can click it back onto your lanyard and just have it around your neck or tied to your cooler or your bag or in your car. That's actually really cute. I like that. That's really fun. Okay. And they match. Well, this one's a little bit more rainbow -ier rainbow ear is that a word sure it is so here's an example of some housewares that we got to go along with our theme so it's a horchata theme but so far we haven't gotten like horchata but we have gotten the um the mexican flavor all right so let's see Ooh, this is good so we did get something we usually get two sometimes even more like edible items in the box not always like a literal uh embodiment of what the theme is like if it is actually a fruit theme like she's not gonna send us peaches and plums next like next month i'm just warning you right you're not actually gonna get the actual thing but we got from moonstruck which is a great chocolate company up in portland oregon we got their horchata cocoa now i don't usually think of like cocoa as like a summer thing horchata though can be weirdly refreshing so it says about this the sweetness of Luna's luminescence brightens the night sky with cinnamon sugar in this luscious milky white cinnamon horchata hot cocoa drink by Moonstruck. Mm -hmm. Delish. Oh, you know, I used to have this nice, like, it was kind of like beer can shaped, and uh, it was from a brewing company, um, Zilker, out of Texas, and they had this really cool, like, serape band around it, and that would have been perfect for my photos for this, but I think my husband broke it. <laughs> Which is kind of a bummer. I'm like, oh man, that would have been the perfect glass for some horchata cocoa. Uh, we also got from Lark Fine Foods, which is another company that we see in subscription boxes a lot, and they make great little treats. These are Mexican chocolate chachas, which is rich chocolate with hints of cinnamon and cayenne. Okay, I'm not sure if it's like a brownie. It like kind of looks like a brownie. What do you guys think? Are they like little crisps? Like, what are they? Hmm. I'll have to open it up. I'm not going to open it up right now, so you'll have to go and check out my Instagram account and see what these actually are. So it says, okay, there's so they're cookies. It says serving size, two cookies. Perfect. We always look and see how many calories. 160. That's not too bad for two little cookies. All right, so it says, reminiscent of a Mexican brownie, this award-winning Mexican chocolate cha-cha cookie by Lark Fine Foods features rich chocolate with hints of cinnamon and cayenne for a delightfully toasty experience. Mm, that sounds good. Oh my goodness. You know how I said two, sometimes three edible items? There's three edible items this time around. But before we get to that, because it is huge, um, we got some spring and vine soap. This is cute. Nice packaging here. So this says, what does it say about this? Mm, I'm trying to find it. Horchata and cocoa handmade scrub bar by spring and vine is a dreamy experience. Bring some ease to your muscles while you lather up and breathe deeply. Gentle exfoliation for the whole body. This multitasking four ounce bar of soap that cleanses, exfoliates, and reduces tension. And this is really cool, you guys. I'm going to open it up for you. Unique nubs feel great on the skin and provide ease to tight muscles. So it's like built into the soap. I bet this feels really good. I bet this feels really good on your feet, actually. Ooh, that smells good. So it's always a very fine line, right, to make, have, make a soap that smells a little sweeter but still smells like it's going to make you 
clean instead of just making it smell like you'd be good to eat. <laughs> so that actually smells really good because it's got, it's an exfoliating bar because the little nubbies. It's got cinnamon, cocoa, ground coffee, also good for the exfoliation and just stimulating the skin, and coconut oil. It's got a longer list of ingredients, but those are like the, the four main ones. So I love that. So coconut oil, shea butter, ethically sourced palm oil. I like that they added that it was ethically sourced. Uh, veggie glycerin, sunflower oil, purified water, lye, of course, soap, natural clays, powder, pure essential oils, locally harvested plants, botanicals, and lots of love. Hmm, smells really good. Cool. All right, our last item, which is big and going to be delicious. Look at this, you guys. It is a horchata flavored Al's Delicious Popcorn. Look how much of it there is. Ah. <laughs> Let me find this. It says, based on the beloved Mexican style rice milk drink, this popcorn perfectly captures the subtle creaminess and sweetness of horchata with a dusting of cinnamon spice on every kernel to round out the flavor. A popcorn experience that is entirely unique to Al's. I like, I have AI on the brain, you guys, because I like write about AI in one of my other jobs. So in my head, I'm like, I'm reading AI's, AI's delicious popcorn. I'm pretty sure it's Al, pretty sure it's Al, but um, <laughs> AI's delicious popcorn. There is AI everywhere now. So it's it, in my brain, in my eyes, there's literally AI everywhere. But look how good that popcorn looks. And look how much of it there is. All right, seven servings per container. Now, you know me, especially when it comes to popcorn. Popcorn is one of those foods that you kind of like shovel in your face once you got it going. So the nice thing is, is this does look like a resealable package. It is. So for portion control, pour a little out in a bowl. Have that. Have a good reason to justify going back for more which mine would just be, I, I'm going to pour it all out in a bowl because then I'm going to share it with my husband, who's not like usually a fan of cinnamon, but weirdly he makes exceptions for like snickerdoodles and churros, right? I'm like, you either like cinnamon or you don't. But churros and um, snickerdoodles, I found out a couple weekends ago, he, somehow those, those don't count. That doesn't count. So I have a feeling like this delicious popcorn, he'll probably be okay with <laughs> so it says this popcorn again perfectly captures the subtle creaminess it's hard to think of popcorn as being creamy but sweetness of horchata i'm i'm into it so seven servings uh 110 calories per serving it's not that bad though really considering it could be worse but that is everything that we got in our box so i'm gonna pack it up nice and carefully because this like it actually came in pretty good condition thank you to the the packers uh this month sometimes sometimes things come a little bit bent out of shape but that one so far so good so that, that's kind of on me to keep that in place all right we got our amazing owls delicious horchata popcorn other uh, delicious snacks, we got these Mexican chocolate chachas, we got our horchata hot cocoa, so all with some lovely cinnamon, some with some chocolate. Uh, on the bath and body front, we got this uh, horchata, does it actually say, or oh, horchata and cocoa, again, combining it with cocoa. Uh, this exfoliating soap bar that smells delicious. And then in the sort of home goods accessories side, we got this pretty cool lanyard that you could clip all kinds of different things into with a bottle opener, as well as two of these little placemats, which I think are really cute and you could use for different little displays and stuff. So you could use it on your like ofrenda if you have one of those. Uh, thank you all so much for watching my unboxing. Let me know if you've tried horchata, if you like it, or if you like, you know, just a nice cinnamon creamy something. If you do, you'll probably like horchata if you haven't had it before. Uh, and then also let me know if you're excited about next month's theme, which again is peachy plum. Thank you all so much for watching my video. If you don't mind, I would love to see a comment below. Uh, you can tell me anything. Doesn't have to be just the answers to the questions that I asked in the video. A thumbs up is also helpful. Love to see you following me over on my Instagram account where I'm able to show you up close some of these products. Uh, and sometimes I can give you a little bit more of a review of the edible items because I have the opportunity to try them. And of course, you can always join us over in our private Facebook group as well, the Nobot Nook. I will leave links for everything for you in the description box below. And I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.